Hold on to your seats, space enthusiasts, because NASA's James Webb Space Telescope has just made a groundbreaking discovery that is going to change everything we know about the universe. The latest images of the mesmerizing cosmic fireworks show in Casopeia A has revealed never-before-seen details that will leave you breathless. The James Webb Space Telescope has captured images so astonishingly detailed that it's as if we're seeing the universe for the very first time. This discovery is said to turn the world of astrophysics on its head as we learn more about the birth and death of stars and how they shape the universe. Are you ready to be amazed? Brace yourself for the most awe-inspiring images of Cassiopeia that you have ever been seen as James Webb Space Telescope takes us on an unforgettable journey through the cosmos. The explosion of a star is a dramatic event, but the remains the star leaves behind can be even more dramatic. A new mid-infrared image from NASA's James Webb Space Telescope provides one stunning example. It shows the supernova remnant Cassiopeia, created by a stellar explosion 340 years ago from Earth's perspective. Cass A is the youngest known remnant from an exploding massive star in our galaxy, which makes it a unique opportunity to learn more about how such supernovae occur. Cass A represents our best opportunity to look at the debris field of an exploded star and run a kind of stellar autopsy to understand what type of star was there beforehand and how that star exploded. Compared to previous infrared images, we see incredible detail that we haven't been able to access before. Cassiopeia A is a prototypical supernova remnant that has been widely studied by a number of ground-based and space-based observatories, including NASA's Chandra X-ray Observatory. The multi-wavelength observations can be combined to provide scientists with a more comprehensive understanding of the remnant. But first, let's find out more about Cassiopeia A, when it was discovered, possible observations, expansion, and many more. So stay close. A little reminder of what James Webb is. The James Webb Space Telescope, presently engaged in infrared astronomy, is the most extensive optical telescope operating in space. It possesses cutting-edge instruments that provide high precision and sensitivity, facilitating the exploration of celestial objects that the Hubble Space Telescope cannot capture due to their age, distance, or faintness. Consequently, the state-of-the-art telescope enables research into various domains of astronomy and cosmology, including the study of the initial stars, the emergence of the first galaxies, and the meticulous analysis of the atmospheres of exoplanets that may support life. The development of Webb was spearheaded by the U.S. National Aeronautics and Space Administration, NASA, which collaborated with two primary agencies, the European Space Agency, ESA, and the Canadian Space Agency, CSA. The telescope's design and development were overseen by the NASA Goddard Space Flight Center, GSFC, located in Maryland, while its current operations are managed by the Space Telescope Science Institute, based at the Homewood campus of John Hopkins University in Baltimore. The principal contractor for the project was Northrop Grumman. This state-of-the-art telescope was named after James E. Webb, who served as the NASA Administrator during the Mercury, Gemini, and Apollo programs from 1961 to 1968. Cassiopeia A Cassiopeia A is a supernova remnant SNR in the constellation Cassiopeia and the brightest extrasolar radio source in the sky at frequencies above 1 GHz. The supernova occurred approximately 11,000 light-years, or 3.4 kpc away, within the Milky Way. Given the width of the Orion arm, it lies in the next nearest arm outwards, the Perseus arm, about 30 degrees from the galactic anticenter. The expanding cloud and material left over from the supernova now appears approximately 10 light-years across from Earth's perspective. It has been seen in wavelengths of visible light with amateur telescopes down to 234 millimeters. It is estimated that light from the supernova itself first reached Earth near the 1690s, although there are no definitively corresponding records from them. Cass A is circumpolar at and above mid-northern latitudes, which had extensive records and basic telescopes. Its likely emission and records is probably due to interstellar dust absorbing optical wavelength radiation before it reached Earth, although it is possible that it was recorded as a 6th magnitude star 3 Cassiopeia by John Flamsteed on the 16th of August, 1680. Possible explanations lean toward the idea that the source star was unusually massive and had previously ejected much of its outer layers. These outer layers would have cloaked the star and reabsorbed much of the light released as the inner star collapsed. Cassay was among the first discrete astronomical radio sources found. Its discovery was reported in 1948 by Martin Ryle and Francis Graham Smith, 
astronomers at Cambridge based on observations with the long Michelson interferometer. The optical component was first identified in 1950. Possible observations Calculations working back from the currently observed expansion point to an explosion that would have become visible on Earth around 1667. Astronomer William Ashworth and others have suggested that the astronomer Royal John Flamsteed may have inadvertently observed the supernova on the 16th of August when he catalogued a star near its position. Another suggestion from recent cross-disciplinary research is that the supernova was the noonday star observed in 1630. At any rate, no supernova occurring within the Milky Way has been visible to the naked eye from Earth since. Expansion The expansion shell has a temperature of around 30 million K and is expanding at 4,000 to 6,000 kilometers a second. Observations of the exploded star through the Hubble Space Telescope have shown that despite the original belief that the remnants were expanding in a uniform manner, there were high-velocity outlying eject knots moving with transverse velocities of 5,500 to 14,500 kilometers per second, with the highest speeds occurring in the two nearly opposing jets. When the view of the expanding star uses colors to differentiate materials of different chemical compositions, it shows that similar materials often remain gathered together in the remnants of the explosion. Supernova Reflected Echo In 2005, an infrared echo of the Cassiopeia A explosion was observed on nearby gas clouds using Spitzer Space Telescope. The infrared echo was also seen by IRIS, a studied with the infrared spectrograph. Previously, it was suspected that a flare in 1950 from a central pulsar could be responsible for the infrared echo. With the new data, it was concluded that this is unlikely the case and that the infrared echo was caused by thermal emission by dust, which was heated by the radiative output of the supernova during the shock breakout. The infrared echo is accompanied by a scattered light echo. The recorded spectrum of the optical light echo proved the supernova was of type 2b, meaning it resulted from the internal collapse and violent explosion of a massive star, most probably a red supergiant with a helium core which had lost almost all of its hydrogen envelope. This was the first observation of the light echo of a supernova whose explosion had not been directly observed which opens up the possibility of studying and reconstructing past astronomical events. In 2011, a study used spectra from different positions of the light echo to confirm that the Cassiopeia A supernova was asymmetric. Dissecting the image The new image of Cass A is remarkable for its vivid colors, which are a result of translating infrared light into visible light wavelengths. These colors contain a wealth of scientific information, which the team is just starting to unravel. One of the most striking features of the image is the curtains of material that appear orange and red on the bubble's exterior, particularly at the top and left. These colors are due to emission from warm dust and mark where the ejected material from the exploded star is colliding with surrounding circumstellar gas and dust. By studying these curtains of material, scientists can learn more about the properties of the ejected material and the nature of the explosion that created the Cass A remnant. Overall, the new Cass A image is a powerful tool for scientists seeking to understand the complex processes that shape our universe. As they continue to study this remarkable object, they are sure to uncover many more fascinating insights into the workings of the cosmos. If you look closely, you'll notice that it's pockmarked with what looks like many bubbles. The shape and complexity are unexpected and challenging to understand. Origins of Cosmic Dust and Us Among the science questions that Cass A may help answer is, where does cosmic dust come from? Observations have found that even very young galaxies in the early universe are suffused with massive quantities of dust. It's difficult to explain the origins of this dust without invoking supernovae, which spew large quantities of heavy elements the building blocks of dust across space. However, existing observations of supernovae have been unable to conclusively explain the amount of dust we see in those early galaxies. By studying Cast A with Webb, astronomers hope to gain a better understanding of its dust content, which can help inform our understanding of where the building blocks of planets and ourselves are created. In Cast A, we can spatially resolve regions that have different gas compositions and look at what types of dust were formed in those regions, explained Timon. Supernova like the one that formed Cass A are crucial for life as we know it. They spread elements like the calcium we find in our bones and the iron in our blood across interstellar space, seeding new generations of stars and planets. By understanding the process of exploding stars, we're reading our own origin story, said Milosevic. The Cass A remnant spans about 10 light years and is located 11,000 light years away in the constellation Cassiopeia.